Let's be real. Midjourney is a powerful image creation tool. But if you're just starting out or doing image generation as a hobby, you'll probably continue searching for new AI tools that can provide you with similar quality images in their free version. So here are the top five best AI image generators with decent and generous free versions, at least for now. Let's start with number five, dreamlike.art. Firstly, you can generate the images on the website rather than using Discord, where your own image can get lost in the abundance of images created by other users. You can produce high quality photos in different styles. Let's look at the gallery where you find a variety of user created photo styles. Let's get started. So first sign up. In my case, I am going to use a Google account. New users start out with 50 credits, which will allow you to create images. So as you can see, for generating one image, you will need approximately 2.2 credits. The number of credits will depend on the style or model of image you decide to choose. On the right side, you can see the images that I've been generating. So let's go directly to writing the prompt. Here is the prompt that I am going to use. I want to portray a warrior princess with all these details. The negative prompts are the things that I want to avoid, so the AI will know exactly what to exclude from the image. The result is this image, which is relatively good, but Dreamlike Art offers me the option to enhance this image. So I'm going to do that. Click on Enhance, and then it opens this image. Then I go to Fix Faces. I am pretty satisfied with this new result. It shows a more realistic and natural look for the eyes and a refined face. Another way to produce images is by uploading a previous version of a photo, which will give that kind of vibe or style to the new image. So here's the initial image I want to use as a reference. I have different types of models, which I can select that will affect the quantity of credits I consume. Realism Engine uses 2.5 credits. It's the most expensive one. Dreamlike Photo Reel only uses 2.1 credits. I've decided to use Realism Engine. Next, I am going to make a little variation to the prompt to suit this new style, and then press the Generate Image button. Here's the result. Beautiful, a photorealistic image which uses the parameters presented in the initial image. Now let's check the pricing. There are plans of $48, $24, and $12. The free plan gives you 24 credits per day, and you can use images commercially. This number of credits allows you to generate 10 to 11 images per day of good quality. Number four, Tensor Art. Tensor Art is a powerful AI art tool that produces high quality images. Unlike other AI art platforms, Tensor Art does not censor content. Therefore, you can create images that are intended for adults over the age of 18. This feature makes Tensor Art a versatile tool suitable for a wide range of users and artists at all skill levels. The easiest way to generate an image is picking a post you like and making a remix of that image. Click on the Remix button. This will open the workspace, which have all the settings from the original image, including the basic model, Laura, prompts, and other advanced features. You can then make changes to the settings to make your image unique. I want Jimmy to have long blonde hair for a cooler and youthful image. Press the Generate button. Wait and the result is here. You can also download the image. There are numerous ways for generating images. Another one is picking a created model. So I am gonna choose a model that I like and hit the run button. This is the prompt I am gonna use. Introduce the prompt and the negative prompt. Select the Laura based on the appearance you wanna give to that image. Click on the generate button and here's the result. I like the image, but I want to make a slight change to it. I'm going to click Remix and add a new Laura to see how the combination of the two Lauras turns out. I want the scarf to change to green. To maintain the same characteristics of the image, I'm going to choose the same seed. Click the Generate button, and this is what comes out. Now, I want to change the background of the photo to a park. And here is the result. Now, there are different ways to gain credits, which equals images. So just search for the different tasks they ask you to promote on their platform. Tensor Art offers you 100 daily accumulable credits, the equivalent of 100 images per day at best. However, the use of advanced features such as Hires Fix and A Detailer will reduce the number of images that you can generate with your credits. Number three, CArt. CArt is an AI image generator and creative platform that provides services for generating unique artworks in different styles. So let's go directly to generating the images. Click on AI painting. I begin by creating a prompt, but if I run out of ideas or don't know how to complete the prompt, CArt finishes the work for you. 
Click on the magic wand, and they suggest a prompt that you can modify according to your needs. I am going to leave it like that. You can choose the preferred style in Laura. The negative prompts can be changed in the advanced configuration. When you have made all the necessary adjustments, click on this button, and the magic is done. Now let's use another useful tool, image to image. Upload the picture, and CR is going to immediately recognize the characteristics of the image and complete the prompt. Let's click here to generate the image. As a result, it has produced consistent images with only a slight variance in this character's expression. Next, I am going to try expansion with the same image just to see how it turns out. The results are good, and my favorite image is this one, so now I want to upscale this image, and guess what? Apart that it's completely free, the maximum size of the upscaled image is pretty generous. I can also remove the background, and this is the result. I've created a lot of images and utilized a variety of options, such upscale, remove background, private channel, etc. But I haven't used any of these credits. Yeah, it's all for free. <laughs> At least for now, so let's spend our credits on some images or features that the site requires you to use according to the situation. Let's use Prompt Studio. Here is my prompt. Click on Mode and select SD Pro. This option consumes credits but improves the light and texture effects. Click on the Generate button, and here is the result. CArt allows you to generate 60 free images per day. Additionally, you can gain free credits that can be used to customize your image with certain special features. Number 2. Playground. Playground is a high-quality image generator tool. The image's quality improves as the ranking rises to the top. To use Playground, you may use the Onboard or Canvas file options to produce images. Let's click on a board, and you'll find this workspace which offers features and options similar to previous AI image generator tools we have reviewed. For creating my new image, I'm going to write my prompt. You can notice that there are different types of models. Each model is associated with different styles or filters that may vary according to the model you have selected. For example, Playground V1 has these types of filters, while Stable Diffusion 1.5 has a wider range of filters. I'm going to pick K Euler for the sampler, I always alternate between K Euler and K Euler Ancestral. Write the negative prompt and choose the number of images. Press the Generate button to finish. Both images are good, but I prefer the first one. You can download the image. Now let's learn how to use Canvas, which is the workspace that allows you to edit your images. If you are on the home page, click on this button and then go to your Canvas file. Select New Canvas File. There is an editor frame that we activate by clicking on it. Now I am going to write the prompt along with the negative prompt. In Model, I chose Stable Diffusion XL and the filter is Delicate Detail. Hit the Generate button, I want to expand the image. So I am going to move the frame and make it overlap with the image of the girl. It must capture at least the face of the girl so the generation frame can read the information. You can adjust the size of the frame for your convenience. Continue doing this until the final image is completed. One important thing that you must remember is to select Playground Chooses Model when you execute the expanding process. Let's edit the image using the Eraser tool. I am going to use Object Eraser to make an apple disappear. I pick one of the apples and click on Eraser. Nicely done! These are some of the images I've generated. You can use a wide range of different styles and models with excellent results if you know how to take advantage of this tool. Let's look at pricing. With Playground, you can create 1,000 images per day for free, but with these limitations. The paid options are also really attractive if you want to upgrade and generate detailed and high-quality images with no restrictions. Number 1. Leonardo AI Leonardo AI is one of the most popular AI tools for creating high-quality designs. It has a user-friendly interface and many features that make it stand out. Now let's take a look at the featured models. If we click on one of these models, we can get an idea of the type of image we can create. This is really useful, since most new users are not familiar with the names or styles of images AI tools can create. Now let's move on to other featured models. You can see the diversity of them. This isometric fantasy model seems pretty interesting. Let's continue with cute characters. This is a good model if you want to create game characters or animation style. Now, I am going to try with Absolute Reality version 1.6. Click on Generate with this model, and I will insert my prompt. 
along with the negative prompt. Leonardo provides you with 150 free tokens per day. I want to generate only one image, and Leonardo indicates me here about the number of tokens I'll be spending based on the image I want to generate. Click on the Generate button and see the result. I can enhance the image and make slight changes using the Upscale Image Alternate option. The result shows that in the upscaled image, the Statue of Liberty is less illuminated at the top than in the original version. The upscaled version appears more realistic, considering that in a post-apocalyptic scenario, it is improbable that lights would still be functioning to illuminate parts of the statue. <laughs> I am going to choose another image and click on Unzoom Image. This is what comes out. We can open the Unzoom Image to compare the differences. Now let's use HD Smooth Upscaler. It is mentioned that this upscaler works well with a focused object but might end up smoothing out fine details. Since there are mainly marine elements in this picture, it should work fine. Let's see the result and compare both images. Next, we will work with this image and edit it in Canvas. Now let's resize the image and adjust it so that it fits in the edit frame. The edit frame should overlap at least 50% of the image. Then copy the prompt and remember the name of the model used in this image, which is DreamShaper V6. Paste the prompt and make the necessary adjustments by erasing the things you don't want to appear in the new image. Remember to change the fine-tuned model to DreamShaper V6. Next, press the Generate button and four alternatives will appear. Click Accept once you decide on the image you like. You can customize the number of photos that will appear as alternatives. Repeat this process until you complete the whole image. Once the image is completed, you can eliminate the objects you don't like using the Eraser tool. Click on Mask to choose specifically which elements of the image to erase. Then click on the Generate button and select the image you prefer. Finally, you can download the image. The current free version of Leonardo AI offers you 150 fast generations per day. However, you can upgrade to a plan that gives you 8,500 tokens per month or even more, depending on the plan. Upgrading to a paid plan will unlock features that are only available for the paid version. These features are designed to ensure the quality, uniqueness, originality, and creativity of your images. That's all for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe.